Well, this morning was a windy morning and I didn't go flying, so I ended up with 10 3 cell 2200 milliamp battery packs that are fully charged that probably won't be used until next week at the earliest. So I'm going to discharge them all. So I'm going to discharge all 10 of these cells to the storage charge of about 3.75, 3.8 volts per uh, cell. And I'm going to do that through the iCharger 4010 Duo. I'm going to use my bank of five 3 ohm resistors all tied in parallel, which gives me 0.6 ohms. Each one of these resistors is good for 300 watts. And I have a little cooling fan to help out here a little bit. So, what I'm going to do is start. I already have a memory set under the discharge 30 amps. We'll just discharge at 30 amps. Go to storage setting, hit start, start. And it'll take a few seconds for it to ramp up. This side over here is the voltage to the, to the load to the resistors and the current to the resistors. This is how much you're drawing from the battery pack. Now the current between the two aren't going to match, but the watts will. Um, if we hit status, we'll notice that the power coming from the battery pack draining into the resistors will always, almost always, well, should match, even though the voltage and current don't necessarily. So we see up here the pack is draining at 29.9 amps, pretty close 30 amps which comes out to 15 volts across 0.6 ohms, which is 24 amps. So that's how I discharge all 10 of my packs quickly at 30 amps into my resistive load, which at 360 watts, 360 watts of energy is being dissipated by the resistors. They get lukewarm. A little bit of the air from the fan helps. I have discharged up to 1300, 1400 watts into this resistor bank. And uh, he heats the room up quite nice too. So we can go over here to look at the voltage on the cells. nice thing about this is it doesn't get the um, charger, the internal temperature of the charger warm at all since all the heat's being dissipated externally. And this is how I discharge all my uh, larger packs uh, to keep the heat, uh, heat away from the charger and I can discharge much quicker too. The charger has a maximum discharge capability of um, 120 watts per channel or 200 watts total, both channels combined. So here I'm just dis, I'm dis, discharging at 360 watts. Um, so makes things uh, makes dis, discharging quite a bit faster. Thanks.